Anyone visiting Bhubaneswar shouldn't miss a visit to this temple. And that includes people on business trips. The capital of the Indian state of Orissa is also known as the city of temples. And the best known temple is probably the 1,000 year old Lingaraja, which is dedicated to the Hindu god Shiva. In Hindu mythology, Shiva is associated with destruction or transformation. A regular visitor to India, businessman Jens Kempkin says his partners there don't expect him to know that sort of thing, but they do appreciate it when he shows an interest. He flies to India around once a week. But does he get to do any sightseeing? Not often enough. Usually my schedule is very tight. I arrive, I meet my clients, and then I take the next flight home. This time he's meeting customers several hundred kilometers away from Bhubaneswar. Kempkin has booked a car and a driver. But we have time. We are not in a Formula One race. So drive <laughs> safely. Yeah. Please. Okay, sir. It's a three hour drive to Bouchon Steel, a gigantic steelworks that's being expanded. Kempkin's employer is the SMS Group. It just delivered an order of building units, and Kempkin is here to see how the installation is coming along. India's steel industry is currently growing at a rate of 8%. The country is home to four major construction sites, like the one Kempkin is visiting. And SMS is supplying all of them. For example, with industrial ovens developed by the group. The furnace is used to melt steel out of iron ore and scrap metal or ore that has been pre-reduced. The delivery road is littered with potholes. It's not a very comfortable ride. Stop. 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 Kempken is a keen amateur photographer, and there are plenty of great motifs in India, like this somewhat sinister poster. Then it's on to the next client, some 50 kilometers away. The sun is beating down, and the temperature is hovering around 40 degrees Celsius. Jindal Steel is a major employer in the region. It's spending over 2 billion euros on a new factory in the middle of the jungle. According to Jens Kempken, the state of Orissa is well on its way to becoming the country's industrial heartland, the Rura Valley of India. These are set to be the largest and most efficient ovens the company has ever built, and they will also be the largest furnaces that have ever been installed in India. How much is the contract worth? Roughly 40 million euros. We've also negotiated an option for a second phase worth the same amount again. Today, Kempkin is hoping to sell additional SMS equipment worth some 7 million euros. It's based on technology that helps recycle the factory's waste heat. But the client isn't convinced. The atmosphere is tense. The presentation is a challenging one for the German engineers. Their Indian partners drive a hard bargain. Um, this is the reason we have to interrupt. By evening, the partners have decided that the talks will continue at a later date. Kempkin is used to that. In India, negotiations are often postponed. But that doesn't mean he never closes a deal. Last year, the businessman signed contracts worth 400 million euros on the subcontinent. In India, negotiating and doing business is in the blood. They give nothing away, they really don't. So I ask uh, Mr. Kempken, how are Indians in negotiations? And I ask you, how are Germans in negotiations? Oh, they're very hard. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's good to have a, such a relation, close relations. 
Kempkin has spent the last five years building up such close relations to Indian industry. So everything's are ready. We are just uh, waiting uh, some documents. Jens Kempkin usually manages to spend the weekend with his family back in Germany, and he always enjoys showing them photos he's taken of a country that's reinventing itself.